I'm Edgar Mitchell, uh, Apollo 14 astronaut. I had an experience coming back from the moon that uh, it caused me to start focusing myself on what is the nature of consciousness, as because I had a very powerful experience while I was in space. But what I want to talk about today is the fact that 500 years ago, thanks to philosopher Rene Descartes, uh, who said we have body and mind and physicality and spirituality belong to different realms of reality that don't interact. For 400 years we have lived with that dictum such that when Kepler and, and um, Newton created what the beginning of what we call modern science, that subject, the subject of mind and consciousness, were no no subject for science. They were not considered proper scientific subjects. Now that lasted for 400 years until uh, Max Planck and Einstein and the greats of the end of the 19th century came along and started experimenting and realizing that we something was missing and that something that was missing is now called quantum mechanics. They had it uh, pretty well formalized and formulated so that the mathematics of it were quite well known by the 1920s. But it's taken us the entire 20th century and into the 21st century to accept the fact that consciousness, which is what uh, the quantum world is all about, and let me illustrate that with a very simple idea. Uh, Mom and Dad go out for uh, dinner, leave Johnny home with the babysitter. Halfway through dinner, uh, Mom jumps up, something's wrong with Johnny at home, calls home, sure enough, he fell out of his high chair, bumped his head, and is screaming bloody murder. Why did, how did Mama know that? That's quantum entanglement, and that is, that's, I'll call it intuition, but we call our intuition our sixth sense, and it really should be called our first sense because it's more fundamental. It's been around forever, and it is a part of the fundamental properties of nature. So what I'm wanting to point out here, for 40 years I've been studying the properties of consciousness, and it goes throughout all of nature and matter, and it begins with the quantum property that when particles are in a process together and they go apart from each other, they maintain their correlation regardless of where they go. And that also has spawned non-locality, which means that this, this happens at faster than the speed of light, and so the speed of light is not a fundamental with regard to consciousness and and the propagation of, of, of consciousness. So here we are in the 21st century, 500 years after Descartes, 400 years after uh, Newton and Kepler, and we now realize that we should be describing our universe instead of just matter and energy, which comes out of Newtonian physics, but we must describe our universe as matter, energy, and awareness, which is the bottom of consciousness, as the, the properties of our universe, so we have added a major fundamental to the nature that we didn't really know until the 20th century.